Hello and welcome to Magic the Gathering Online, your digital destination for all things magic, where you can collect cards, build decks, and duel other magic players anytime, anywhere you have a computer and an internet connection. Magic Online gives you access to the biggest magic game room around and lets you find a game anytime, day or night. In this tutorial, we're going to review the basics of the play lobby and show you how to find and join those games. We've already logged into Magic Online, so we're going to head over to the play lobby to get started. The play lobby features three primary areas, filters, results, and featured tournaments. Filters are on the left, and you'll use them to find the matches or tournaments you're interested in. Starting at the top, the filters are ordered from general to specific, and as you make selections, you'll adjust both the results on the right and the subsequent filter options. The results area is divided into the games you've joined, the matches or events that are awaiting players, and current or past games that you can watch. Each row contains the basic information about a match or tournament. Clicking on the column header lets you sort your results and you can manage which columns you see by using the overflow button. Highlighting a row brings up a details button that opens a separate window with additional information. This will show you everything you need to know about that match or tournament and if it's still waiting for players, you can join it from there. The featured tournaments area highlights major upcoming tournaments like release events and pro tour qualifiers. The tournaments tutorial provides more information about Magic Online events. Now that you know the basic layout, let's look closely at constructed open play. Open play pits you against other players in casual magic matches using decks built from cards in your collection. The collection tutorial has more information about building decks, but we'll assume that you have a few decks ready to go. Once in open play, you'll need to choose your skill level, which will help you find players with similar abilities or preferences. Just starting out is perfect for players who are still getting comfortable with Magic Online and learning the program. Just for Fun is the most popular casual play destination and supports a wide range of players and game types, from tournament favorites like Standard and Modern to specialty formats like Popper and Momir. Getting Serious is like Just for Fun, but often features more structured, player-organized games. Tournament practice is where the best players tune their decks in preparation for the next big tournament. Each skill level has a corresponding chat room where you can ask questions, talk strategy, or arrange matches. Each of these chat rooms will also have one or more members of our online response crew, or ORC, available at all times if you ever have any questions. After you've selected your skill level, you'll want to find a match. There are quite a few options, but finding a basic two-player match is easy. Choose the deck you want to use and click the play button. That's it! Magic Online will either find a corresponding match that's waiting for players, or if there aren't any open matches, it will automatically create one for you that other players can join. In either case, the match will open in its own window and will start as soon as it's full. If you prefer a customized experience, you can set additional filters before clicking play. You can select multiple filters in each category, in whatever order you want, and the results will adjust in real time. Let's take a closer look. As you would expect, the decks filter shows your available decks. When you select a deck, your format filter will also be set to match the chosen deck's format. Unlike most filters, you can only have one deck selected at a time. If a deck is gray and not selectable, it means that it isn't legal in the format that it's currently assigned to. You'll need to head over to collection and make some changes before you'll be able to use it. The format filter applies to both the results and your deck filter and will hide the decks and games that don't match. Remember that when you select a deck, the format filter will automatically change to match that deck's format. If you're looking for something other than the normal two-player match, the player's filter lets you create multiplayer or solitaire practice games. Multiplayer games include three or more players and can either be free-for-all or team-based. Solitaire, on the other hand, is a great way to learn the Magic Online interface or test a deck before facing off against another person. Buddies and Watchers lets you control who can join or watch your matches, while Match Options lets you adjust the number of games in a match as well as the time limit each player has to complete the match. The Host a New Match button lets you create the match instead of joining a waiting one, and you can use the Comments field to let other players know what kind of game you're looking for. The Search field lets you search for matches with certain players or comments, and will help you find games with your friends. If you aren't finding any results that match your filter selections, you can check out other skill levels without losing any of the filters you currently have set. If you want to clear selections you have made, you can use the reset button to clear individual filters or reset all to clear everything and start over. 
Recent play choices keeps track of the last few games you have joined and is an easy way to set your filters quickly. There are a lot of options, so feel free to experiment and find the games that suit you best. Before you jump into your first match, make sure you check out the Play a Game tutorial. If you ever have any questions or need help, don't forget that you can go to the Chat with Support room to get live, in-game assistance 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That wraps up our Play Lobby tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun! For more information and to download Magic Online, visit mtgonline.com.